All right, so for the long overdue uh, retrospective for Greece. So I was in Athens, Greece for a week. So uh, let's do a re retrospective of the whole trip. All right, uh, Sunday evening, May 22nd, I get to the Orlando airport a couple of hours before my flight because you never know what may happen, um, especially with an international trip. Not like I can get another one in an hour, you know what I mean? Uh, I make it through security with no major issues and sit at my gate and work on some stuff. Uh, then it's time to get on my flight. I'm worried that I may have to check my carry-on bag because I got an email earlier in the day asking to check it in. Uh, even more so because I'm in the late, uh, like the last boarding group. So I'm doing the awkward asking people uh, what boarding group they're in because there isn't really a line. I get on the plane and luckily where my aisle seat is, there is space in the overhead compartment. Awesome. Uh, this is going to be a great nine hour flight to Frankfurt, Germany. Or so I thought. I'm sitting next to a really nice guy, but it doesn't seem to understand personal space. For the whole flight, he's sitting with his elbows out. Um, and so I'm basically on a lean for like the whole flight. And for some reason, his foot was under the seat in front of me where my feet would go. And I can't say for certain, but I feel like he was looking over at me and staring. Like I would see it out of the corner of my eye. Like he's weird. Okay. And then this is super random. I'm sitting there and I have my headphones on plugged into the, uh, the monitor in the head seat back. Right. And um, I'm just watching there, sitting there watching a movie. And I see the guy reach over and like touch my headphone cable and then put his hand back. Other than, the other than that, my flight, my flight was fine. Uh, while in the air, it goes from Sunday to Monday and we get to the three hour layover in Frankfurt, Germany and I rush off the plane because you know, the guy next to me. So note to future me, try to avoid Frankfurt, Germany airport if possible. Um, I had to go from Terminal B to Terminal A. Cool. Sh should be close, right? Nope. Uh, so first thing, I couldn't find Terminal A. I'm following signs. One says go downstairs. Uh, and then there's a sign that says Terminal A is upstairs. I know I'm not the only one confused because there's like 10 other people doing the same thing. I see someone ask a couple of airport employees. One says he doesn't know. And then it says you have to go through some doors as if you're leaving the airport to get to Terminal A. I've got nothing to lose at this point, so I follow these folks through the doors. Luckily, it looks like it was the right call. Uh, I get to the line of, for customers or for customs, and I think I recognize some folks from the plane. But of course, they could just be leaving the airport, but I did see a sign for Terminal A. I'm thinking, why do I need to go through customs if I'm not leaving the airport? and just going to another terminal. At this point, I'm like, F it, keep it moving. So as I'm walking to the line, an airport employee is surrounded by people asking questions about if they're in the right, in their right line. You can see them getting frustrated. Uh, then another employee comes and asks people to follow them to somewhere else. So basically splitting the line and asking people to stay in the position in the line to follow them down some random hallway to somewhere new. As you may remember, future me, that didn't go over very well. Uh, that just caused uh, confused people already confused even more so. And then the line basically disintegrated as people were stopping to ask the first employee more questions and the people that were ahead started to get further and further away. Uh, so I just start skipping people and who just like stopped and head in the direction where I saw those people headed. Lucky there were terminal A signs. And there weren't a lot of turns, so I could kind of speed walk so I wouldn't lose sight of people that seem to be headed in the correct direction. So I get to what seems uh, like a smaller customs uh, checkpoint and wait in the line. I get through, get my passport stamped, and follow more signs for Terminal A. That was not a quick walk. Uh, it felt like I went from one side of the airport to the other side. Uh, which it must be because I had to go through security again to get to my gate. I forgot to take out a laptop, out my bag, and that turned into a thing. Apparently, it's not just laptops, but anything electronic uh, needs to be taken out. 
Now my backpack is full of electronics, cameras, microphones, recorders, chargers, etc. And it would take even longer than it does now to take everything out. Uh, finally make it through security, do a lot more walking, and finally make it to the gate. Or at least I, what I thought was my gate. Apparently the gate number changed. I didn't see any emails or anything at the time. I was tired from the long, weird flight I just got off of. For some reason, something said to check the display at the gate, and sure enough, it was not Athens, Greece. I was uh, some... Okay. Uh, oh, okay. So I walked some more to find the monitors with the departures. Find mine, and it's even further away. Awesome. I do some more walking to the new gate, and again, it's very far away. Somehow, a three-hour layover turned into me having like 45 minutes to sit and work on stuff. Uh, then it was time to go, but this time I make sure to stand to the side, but close enough to the gate that when my boarding group, again, last, was called, I would be right there because I was not trying to check my back. Apparently, others didn't uh, have the same idea and were standing in front of the gate, so people weren't going to the gates when their group was called because they saw people standing around in front of the gates. Uh, and I guess they thought they were in a group in front of them. I don't know. And you had people who were just walking up to the gate, even though their group wasn't called. Then the airline attendants were telling people to use both lanes, but people were still standing in the one lane, even though the other lane was separate. I'm shocking up to a language barrier. As soon as they said they were boarding all passengers, I jumped right in and skipped people that were just standing around and went through the gate. I wasn't messing around. Uh, again, I didn't have to check my bag, and there was space in the overhead compartment above my seat. Yes. Now, I don't remember much of the flight, uh, but I get to Athens. Get a taxi whose front is being held together by a lot of tape wrapping around it. Uh, again, I'm like, I just want to get to the hotel, eat, and go to sleep. I get to the hotel and check in, but it's kind of late. I didn't want to go walking around in a new city, tired, and in the dark. So for the first time ever... I get room service. Uh, it was a chicken pizza with an orange soda. So I went to the uh, restaurant downstairs to order and pay because I didn't want for the hotel, because uh, I didn't pay for the hotel room. The organizer that brought me booked it, and I didn't want the food to be charged to them. Apparently, um, I'm able to order food and not have to worry about it being charged to the room. I guess I can pay it afterwards when I check out or something. I don't know. No clue but I pay for the food and they bring it up to my room later. It was pretty good, but now what do I do with the plate, silverware, and tray? I remember seeing people place them outside their doors in other hotels, but do they call them up and let them know to pick it up? Uh, so to be on the safe side, I call downstairs to let them know. I work on some things and I go to sleep. Next morning, Tuesday, May 24th, uh, I found a supermarket close to the hotel uh, so I can get some drinks and snacks uh, I can have in between meals. Open my door and the tray and stuff is still there. Uh, no clue. I did my part <clears throat> and told them last night. Go to the supermarket, which is like a couple of streets from the hotel, uh, and pick up some stuff. I walk around the store. There's two stories. There's a ground floor and another one underneath it. Basically has all the regular stuff, uh, but to see the packaging. Wait. Oh, no. Oh, okay. The supermarket basically has all the regular stuff, uh, like that you've seen a normal like U.S. market that I've seen before. But to see the packaging with the Greek letters kind of threw me off, and made me realize that I was in a totally different country. So that was pretty cool. Head back to the hotel, get ready for my online workshop. A few hours later, um, do the two-hour workshop. I think it went well. Then I took a nap. Get up, do some more work, and then it was time for dinner. I found a kebab place across the street from the local uh, from the hotel called Kebab Me Gusto, which I think is kind of is like Spanish for like I like kebab, but I thought it would be Me Gusto Kebab. Um, but what do I know? Ate my dinner, went to bed. So it's Wednesday, May 25th, and I'm hanging out at the hotel, resting up and getting uh, ready for the meetup later. Uh, Google Maps said it's about a 46 minute walk to the venue. So I decided that I would do some sightseeing on the way. I took a bunch of pictures, mostly of graffiti. Pretty dope graffiti. Uh, the meetup was dope. I gave my presentation and got some good feedback afterwards. 
Got to speak with a lot of local developers working on cool projects. Um, after the meetup, some folks got together to get some food and drinks. It was a really fun night. Thursday, May 26th. The day before the conference, a walking tour was set up. I did like over 10,000 steps uh, that day. Went up to the Acropolis to see the Parthenon and the temples. I took a bunch of photos and 360 videos. If I get a chance to visit again, remember future me, the rocks up there are very slippery and you'll probably fall again. Then we went to get some drinks from a cafe that was in a museum. Some folks wanted to visit the museum, so we split up. The group I was with would go to, would go to through the museum and the others would go hang out and then we would meet up in about an hour at a restaurant for lunch. Uh, the museum was cool. Uh, you got to see the size of some of the structures. What was weird was that I went to take a picture of a statue on the first floor and was not and was asked not to. But then someone uh, took a picture with an actual real camera of another statue, and now it's fine. Maybe it was only certain statues. No clue. Didn't get to see the ruins that were below the museum. Maybe next time. The museum group... Uh, uh, so the museum group that I was a part of went to the restaurant for lunch. Uh, it was good, but a mental note, uh, the Greek salad was not an appetizer, but a whole meal by itself. The group I was sitting with thought the same thing, so we had uh, three large plates of Greek salad. After lunch, uh, we go to the conference venue to do a tech check to make sure our computers could show up, uh, could show our slides on the big screen. After that, I think most of us went back to our hotels to rest up because it was a physical day and the actual conference was happening the next day. So conference day, February, May 27th. Uh, the venue is an outdoor amphitheater. It's funny, the last three conferences I went to were in outside amphitheaters. Um, maybe it's becoming a trend. I'm down with that, pretty cool. Uh, the conference was super dope. It was such a big deal that the mayor and vice mayor of Athens came out and spoke. Uh, there were great talks about cool technologies. Plus, I got to speak uh, with a lot of folks at the booth who never heard of the company or have been using it for a while. I uh, did some brainstorming and helped some people, uh, helped with some random bugs and issues people had and questions. Uh, it was a great conference. Afterwards, folks went to a bar slash restaurant that was in the same park as the venue. Uh, again, had a good time, got back to the hotel and just passed out. So, Saturday, May 28th. Uh, the event organizer asked if I would be interested in joining a group visiting a coastal town and checking out the beach. I said I was as long as I got back in time to do my radio show. Plus, I needed to go get a COVID test so I could get on the plane back home the next day. They said we can make it uh, work. So in the morning, I get picked up in a taxi and taken to where the bus where everyone was. Funny thing, the bus starts to pull off and I asked if the person uh, wasn't going anymore. I remember them telling me the night before, see you tomorrow. Turns out that their Airbnb roommates were also running late and in such a rush, they forgot them. Uh, the expression on their faces when they realized what happened was priceless. A couple of hours on the bus and we're at a small town. Oh, by the way, we waited for that person to come. So, all right, then a couple of hours on the bus and we're at the small town. Uh, we walked along the beach to the restaurant and ordered some food. Pretty relaxing. Uh, you know there's no way I'm getting in the water. A uh, really great view of the water with the mountains in the distance. It was beautiful. Uh, we went to another part of the town and got ice cream. Uh, it was a pretty chill day, and one of the best parts was speaking with folks on the bus going to and from places. Getting back to Athens, the event organizer was able to take me to find a pharmacy still open uh, so I could get my COVID test. Waited in line took the test, waited about 10 to 15 minutes, and got my negative result and paid. Uh, with that off my mind, I went back to the hotel to do my radio show, which in Athens time was midnight. Uh, my portable setup worked just fine, and I was able to broadcast the show. Then I went to bed uh, because I was tired and had to get up uh, early to pack, work on the radio show, and check out the hotel. While I'm getting ready, I get a notification that my plane is running late. Great. Uh, because I have a connecting flight with only like a two-hour layover. Check out the hotel, arrive at the airport, and make it to my gate. I get to the gate, and everyone is outside of the gate. Apparently, the agents kicked everyone out. Security arrived, and then they started to let everyone in, 
but checking boarding passes and passports first. Some even had to get their luggage examined again. So I get on the flight and it's pretty smooth, land in DC, Washington DC airport, and it becomes pretty obvious that I will most likely be missing my connecting flight. But by some miracle, I was able to get off the plane at Terminal C, go through customs and security, and make it to the gate that was in the airline's app in Terminal D, almost at the end, just in time. Uh, problem was, the gate in the app was the wrong gate. I actually passed the new gate on the way to the one in the app. So I rushed back, and by the time I got there, it was too late. If I had known the correct gate, I would have been able to catch my flight because it was also delayed. So because of the mess up with the app, I had to wait like five hours for the next flight to Orlando. Since I had the time, I made sure that the gate on the printed boarding pass was the correct one. Funny thing was that not only was the flight delayed again, but the gate changed. Luckily, it was just a cross from the gate that was on the boarding pass. Basically, everything after getting on the flight in DC to Orlando is a blur. Um, I got to the van, my van, at like 2.30 in the morning. And in uh, Greece, that was around the same time I left to get to the airport and start this whole journey. I think it was pretty much like 18 hours of travel. So with that said, start doing, pack less. So far with all the trips, I've had extra clothes. So for this next one, I think I'll pack one less outfit and see how it goes. Any space I can save in my luggage is, is precious. Stop doing. Stop thinking that I have time to do extra things. I thought I was going to, able, thought I was going to have, be able to uh, record a lightning talk and some other things. But with the conference itself, my workshop, and the meetup and all the events happening around the conference, I didn't really have time to sit down and dedicate to something that wasn't involved with the conference. All right? Keep doing Keep refining the radio show setup. I think I almost have it working with a smaller amount of equipment. So I'm getting smaller and smaller with what I need to broadcast the show. Just a couple of hiccups, but I think that'll be worked out in time. Cool. Shouts. Too many to name. Shouts to everyone I met, the organizers and tech crew of City JS Athens and the meetup, uh, the speakers and attendees. Shouts to my team members that helped out with the booth. Greece is an awesome place and looking forward to going back in the future. Thanks. So to next time, my future self, be easy. Peace, peace. peace.